Sometimes when you actually sit down to meditate, you're just bombarded with thoughts. And you're wondering, where did this all come from? Because, you know, I was okay before I sat down. Hi there and welcome back to my channel. I'm Malika Kazia and I'm so, so glad that you're with us today. So I decided for this video, we're going to be talking about meditation. Hence, you can see I am already seated in a cross-legged position, which by the way, is just really comfortable no matter what, even if you're not meditating per se. But today I'm going to be talking about meditation and especially if you're somebody who's new to meditation, how should you get started? Are you someone who has always wanted to try it, but you're like, I don't know. Are you somebody who probably tried it and then decided mm, this is not for me but you might want to give it another go or is this something that you've just heard about recently and want to explore more about I've got a lot of great advice I think it's great because I've actually been meditating for a few years now and I have found a lot of things that are helpful that I thought I'd share with you today so even before we get started I'd love to see you back again so make sure you click that subscribe button right so meditation you know it's just basically something that a lot of people can use for calming themselves for being more centered being more mindful and honestly a lot of the things that we go through in life as people say it's not what's thrown at you it's how you react to it and i think one of the most helpful things about meditation is that it helps you calm down and take a breather before you react to something so your reaction is more helpful for you and the people around you as opposed to how you would have reacted you know simultaneously so meditation has many benefits but before that you know if you're just starting out i would say the first thing you do when you get into your practice is to just settle into your body and if you've ever followed any guided meditation they will always tell you this that first come into your body and settle into it take a few deep breaths and a great way to do this is to start noting parts of your body so you start with your feet draw your attention to that as you continue breathing then your legs and then your torso your chest your arms and as you go along relax each part of your body so eventually you'll come to your head and your face and the whole body then will just be in the present moment relaxed so I think that's a great way to start any meditation take your time you know in your practice you don't have to be sitting there for hours because Frankly, that's very difficult to do. And you know, you're not going for Buddha status just yet. So even two, two minutes, two to five minutes when you begin, I would say even a minute. The fantastic meditations that last just one minute that you can do when you're starting out, just do a minute a day. You might feel the pressure that what's a minute going to achieve and you know, is it really going to help? Yes, I think it's amazing. Even if you can do one minute a day and then build up to it, it is really, really something that you'll begin to notice uh, that you're able to focus for longer periods of time as you go along. So don't put so much pressure on yourself about the time when you start. Sometimes when you actually sit down to meditate, you're just bombarded with thoughts and you're wondering where did this all come from because you know I was okay before I sat down well it's your mind also playing catch up because you might have thoughts about you know what's for dinner I need to send that report to the boss I have homework to finish and so much happening in your mind and that's okay when you purposefully try to silence your thoughts and you force them to shut down that's not going to help you very much because you'll notice and this happens to me a lot I don't know if it happens to you when you actually try to force them to stop more thoughts spring up and it's harder to do I found that a great way to help is to actually focus on your breath so as you breathe in and out when you're meditating focus on the in and the out the inhale and the exhale so your focus is on your breathing and even if the thoughts are swirling around let them be let them pass don't focus on one thought and don't draw attention to one thing let it come and go while you just focus on your breathing and you'll notice slowly by slowly that your thoughts will quiet down and even if you're not focusing on inhale exhale you can even count down you know inhale for three one two three as you breathe in and exhale for four as you count in your head to four i think that's a really great way to not latch on to different thoughts when you're trying to meditate Another tool that can really help you when you are starting your meditation practice is guided meditations and that is actually through apps, YouTube, whatever you like. 
and it's really, really helpful. One of my favorite apps is called My Life. Before this, it was called Stop, Breathe and Think. So they just rebranded and of course, this is not sponsored. They are a free app and I've been using it for a couple of years. And I found that it is so, so helpful because you can select the meditations that you want based on how you're feeling. They can also suggest some to you depending on how your mood is at that point, how you're feeling. And then they walk you through it. So it's a, it's a recording, you know, you play it and you hear it as you meditate and it guides you. And I feel that especially when you're starting out and you're thinking, well, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to think about? It literally walks you through the whole process. And I think that's one of the best things about it. Now, another thing that happens when you're meditating is that sometimes a lot of emotions come up. And these are emotions that maybe you didn't want to face, that maybe you didn't know you were feeling and you had suppressed. And I would say the best way to deal with these emotions is to sit with them, acknowledge them. They exist, it could be something like guilt, fear, anger, from things that are not in your immediate environment, but your meditation has stirred it up. Sit with that feeling, it's a physical feeling and you, you'll experience this sometime when you actually get into those kinds of meditations. And a great teacher for this is Esther Tool. So she used to be on Eckhart Yoga and uh, I used to love her guided meditation. So you can find her on YouTube as well. Her videos are still up. I don't think I've seen a recent one in a while, but she has many that are previously recorded that are on YouTube right there. So I can link it in the description box below for you. And you know, she says, just sit with that emotion. It's almost like a knot in your stomach that you'll feel there. But when you acknowledge it, you allow it to have space and eventually it passes through. You won't be in that state if you recognize it, you won't be trapped in it. And I think that's a great thing because you're actually allowing it to pass through so that you can also feel better. And it's a form of healing as well that I've come to find is so, so amazing. And finally, you know, some people would ask, well, is meditation for everyone? I would say it really depends. Can anybody do it? Yes, anybody can meditate. And when you meditate, you will see the benefits. But if you do it and you think, mm, this is not for me, that's also okay. You know, that's totally fine. But it does have amazing benefits. If you're somebody who wants to start and then see how you feel about it. Do you want to continue? Do you want to explore different types of meditation practices? That is then your journey. But I would say it's possible for anybody to meditate. And if you're somebody who wants to try it, I hope that this video has helped. If you're somebody who is uh, already meditating, please do share your tips below about, you know, how did you get started? What are some of your favorite tools that help you with this practice? I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you did subscribe. If you haven't, do go ahead and click that button below. And do stay with me because I have a lot more things coming up for you right here on this channel. Till then, stay safe. Stay happy, stay healthy. See you next time.